Tonight I'm going to defend society's most prized minority, social justice warriors. This is United A-Holes, a video cast discussing cultural topics with no filter. Welcome back to Area 41, Ben Shapiro's favorite spot on the internet. So, uh, what's happening, guys? What's, what's new? What's shaking? I think we're talking about social justice warriors. What about them, though? What about Josh? I think uh, social justice warriors are super vital to our society. I think they're super important as a group. <sighs> Why? Man, based on fucking what? Because we need extremists to give us moderation so we need nazis too then is what you're saying exactly no <laughs> <laughs> no, Not I'm just saying, like, favorite spot the <laughs> <laughs> no no i'm just saying like the thing is uh, people hate on you know sjw's but they're what they're trying to accomplish is good right uh no no get, get, okay why can, not can we have like one example of they're they're like looking they're for saying, as far as I'm, I'm aware they're looking for tolerance okay they're li- looking for sensitivity they're looking for um inequality. inclusion inequality they're they're looking for equality no that that's it if what you just said was true, I would agree with you. Okay. But I do not believe that is what's happening. Okay. The SJW moniker is being given to, like you said, the extremists. Sure. That are taking that pendulum and swinging way past center. My point is, I think that's important. Because... Why do you then, think that's important? Because if we go so, so far ahead, <clears throat> then we can reel back and we'll, we can say, okay, this was the line. Now we can bring it back a bit, get a bit more conservative with it, and then it gives us a target. It gives it 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 tests the water. You got to know both extremes to know a center. Is that what we're sure. basically saying? It, it know, tests fire the water. above, fire below, go center. I, I I mean I fear that we go so far that it causes we, the center to side with the opposite, and it swings back the other way. Harder. And you just keep getting that pendulum. If we just stuck with what is right in the center, you would get what is in the center. But how do we determine what the center is? But if everybody fought for what they wanted, as opposed to trying to overswing... Well, I don't think they're trying you would to find, overswing. You'd find the center because everybody would be where they expect to be, as opposed to where... Sure. They try and take it. But even... So if they say they want equal rights for women, that is a great goal. Sure. But if you do everything so that women have more rights, better rights, sure. fuck men... Right. You're not getting what your goal is. So you st- you've still lost center. Sure. But if everybody said equal rights for women and everybody agreed, then you might actually get equal rights for women. If you didn't have everybody agree, then your center is actually not equal rights for women. As shitty as that may sound, right? No. that would be the true center. But right now, you have so many extremists, you don't know where center is either. You have a vocal minority on both sides. And the right. center is just, I don't want to get involved. You're neutral. Is what you're saying? Yeah, in you're, the center. Yeah, you're, you're neutral center. or disenfranchised. So, so we yeah. should be aiming simply for equal rights. You should be aiming for what we want. Equal sure, rights it, for it, right. everybody, regardless but of who you are. I think. I think it, targeting women. I is still think it's important to. <clears throat> are you saying it's important to have the conversation so that we can suss it out? No, for the sake of you know, I'm arguing that it's important. You know, I, as I'm saying it. <laughs> is it awareness? Well, no, but like, the thing is, I think having people on the far left, but the thing is, if you say to me the far right, I, I might not agree with you. And so I'm kind of being a hypocrite right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice That's a very nice well, thing to do. I appreciate that. It's just Area 41 science. <laughs> If you need 
I think it tests the waters and I think it introduces ideas to people that they weren't aware of, even if it is an extreme. Sure. And it says like, okay, this is a, a, an, an issue that exists. And, you know, even if they go far past the goalposts, it still brings awareness to, okay, there still is, you know, inequalities for whatever, like, I just, I, I, I guess I'm, I'm just trying to defend the, the vocal minority, I guess. I think you do need a body in majority to stand up for the minority. Right. Unfortunately, that is not what SJW seems to stand for right now. Okay, well, give me an example of <clears throat> when they've gone too far, I guess. Like, like when... I don't know her name. There's a, and she'll probably find this inflamous. The extreme uh, feminist from Toronto. Do you know what I'm talking about? She got like red hair, and she totally she's categorized as SJW, and her whole ploy isn't for equal rights; it's for elevated rights for females. Oh, okay, and that's where my issue comes in. So when you say elevated, you mean we are lesser. Literally, okay. it would be like men are trash; <clears throat> they deserve nothing. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm not arguing for that. I guess, but and that that and that's what I think Ryan's saying is there's a lot of the camps in the social justice warrior leagues, sure, that are all about elevated rights. That seems to be their only way to achieve what they think is equal rights is to elevate them. Do you think though they can hit a point though where it's like where the lawmakers, let's say, will say no, no, that would be inequality. So we know you want this. This is what we have, you know, this is what we have determined is, you know. The problem is if you don't 100% agree with them, they immediately categorize you as the opposite. Some of them right. do, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, but because... ultimately, <clears throat> does I, that matter? I believe in women's equal rights, but I would never call myself a feminist because of what feminism has grown into. Well, is it what feminist is, feminism has grown into, or is it what you perceive feminism as? It's what as? I perceive feminists have grown right. into. Because there are bad people, like say vocal minorities, that have taken those terms and taken them too far. It's opinion. like, sure. you, know, you could say the same thing about men's rights, right? I yeah, mean, absolutely. I can't call myself a man, men's rights activist, A, because of how it appears to the general public to say that. Yeah, right. <laughs> but at the same time, the people that are men's rights activists by the large majority, I don't agree with either. Because again, they're- I, kind of I would question you saying large majority because I have spent time on the, like, on the Reddit for men's rights and I didn't see a lot of extremism. It wasn't extreme. I didn't, I didn't see any extremism. What was that documentary? Yeah, Red I watched Pill. that. I cannot Red remember. Pill. The Red Pill. That yeah. was a good one. Yeah. That, I, that opened my eyes to a few things. Yeah, have you watched it? I don't even know what you're talking about. I'll circulate. There's a documentary called The Red Pill, and it's about men's rights. Okay. okay. I'll circulate it to you. It's actually... That chick that I'm talking about. I, I was totally <laughs> There's actually... That woman that I'm talking about. You know that broad I was talking about? about. <laughs> who started doing a documentary about women's rights, was going to use these guys as the opposition. She learned so much about them that she actually did the documentary about men's rights. I'm going to say something right now that's going to get me in a lot of trouble. The oh, said this. you're probably not going to be the only one in this I've, episode, I've, so I've go for it. it. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> I've said this in a lot of settings in private groups for fuck now. Yeah. Now I'm going to throw it at YouTube. <laughs> I hate I feel that the largest minority, and I know that that's an oxymoron. Oh, you're going to say white men. The largest minority is straight white Men. Well, you're saying largest we, minority. We are with the largest minority. I know that that doesn't make sense. We're not sense, allowed to defend just, it. Right. We are. I say we. We're white. We're straight. We're men. Get used we're, to it. We're, <laughs> we're here. We're straight. We're boring. Um, <laughs> we're not women. Right. We're not gay. Right. We're not of color. Sure. So when companies want to diversify to make them. Yeah, they're not looking look for white better. guys. They're looking right. For They've got lots of them already. That would be the argument. But I'm sure that there are times where 
somebody, if you just looked at the two candidates on paper and didn't look at their picture and didn't know what sex they were, you'd go, well, this person clearly is the person for the job based on what they have done and what they've accomplished. So let's hire this person, sure. person number 42. And then you find out, oh, but this person was a woman or a or uh, an ethnicity, or that's a hard word for me. I'm sorry. This one, or something else. So it sounds oh, like diversity. Needs. So now, you're, you're talking now, kind of about like uh, what is it? Um, uh, uh, affirmative it's, it's, action. So it's easier to start discriminating against white male. Straight. Google Google actually fired a guy for bringing that point up. They were hiring developers, and he was in the development team. He was on Joe Rogan's podcast. Okay, and he. He basically sent a memo out to the company that was, I don't know how many pages, nine or 12 pages long, that basically stated his stance wasn't that we should be picking people based on any sex, race, religion, Are they lifestyle. The person the job? Let's hire the best Meritocracy. person for the job. He did slip up a couple times in the, in the write-up by using the example of straight white male. Yeah. And they canned his ass for it. And but, he's been... SJW into oblivion since. Mm. That, now, I, I said that and probably fired up anybody that's watching that I can't certainly imagine. doesn't, doesn't <laughs> agree. Uh, one of our, what do we got, 10 subscriptions now? Or? <laughs> 50 <laughs> something? <laughs> 53, probably down to 43 by the time the end of this video. <laughs> <laughs> Me saying that, I will follow it up with there needs to be a swing, going back to what you were saying. It, it, I think this is maybe the point that you were sort of going towards is we're here. Social justice warriors try to pull us over here. And in the meantime, they're bringing sure. people into that. Yeah, that's conversation. exactly the point I'm making. And yeah. if they land in the middle, right. The guys that are extreme aren't going to be happy. They did. About they it. did some, a lot of the heavy lifting. They're not going to be happy about it sure. necessarily, but society may actually be better for it because we've pulled that, people to thank the you middle. For, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, that, that's what I was... Words are good. <laughs> yeah. All right, Words Ken. Words are important. All right, Ken, you said that you weren't going to be... He wasn't going to be the only one to upset somebody. Do you agree with that statement? It comes down to the old adage, you're awaiting brain surgery for me, and you've got a choice between a... Dr. A, which just happens to be white. Dr. B, which just happens to be a woman. Dr. C, which happens to be African-Canadian. Which one do you want? Ooh. I want the one that graduated first in their class. Yeah. If it's Dr. C, great. If it's Dr. B, great. If it's Dr. A, I want the best. Yeah. You see, here's the thing with social justice warriors is because they have taken all the rationale out of normal discussion. Because there was a time that if somebody expressed an opinion and you disagreed with them, well, we can agree to disagree. The social justice warrior now has, you don't like my opinion? Well, there's something fucking wrong with you. You are lower than fucking low. Extremism if you on both sides. If you don't that's, that's agree with oh, yeah. me, oh, yeah. if you don't agree with me, then there is something wrong with you. Yeah, yeah. And my experience, and I have been lately experienced with a social justice warrior, is that 90% of them give two shits about the soapbox that they are on. Because it is all about them and pushing their own personal agenda and their own personal brand, regardless of what the issue is. Take my case. A social justice warrior torpedoed something in my life because she took offense to what I did. No, initially what she did was she took offense of the fact that I was doing something now that she wanted somebody else to do. And that is the crux of the situation. She used that SJW platform in order to push an agenda. Not, she couldn't give two shits about actually what she was, the, in my opinion. And that's the problem with social justice warriors. Well, she wanted it to isn't right. about these rights. It's about me getting the exposure and people wanting to know my opinion, and maybe I'll get a fucking lecture out of it, or, oh, I got 20 more followers there. 
maybe it's all about me, 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 and that is and that's my what issue. Hear. What your scenario is saying isn't happening because there are people in the center. They're interacting with that SJW mindset, getting told "fuck you, you're wrong." Is that changing and their they, opinion? So and they because further to the right than uh, they normally would. I don't know because if the, I, the right isn't doing exactly the same thing right now. So they so they get to center, which for most people is okay, but because the social justice warrior says, "No, no, you're still not over <laughs> here." This person goes, well, fuck you, then I'm going back over here, right. where I was sort of leaning towards. Because I think most people aren't, they're not far left or far right or no, center. Most people aren't. They're it's... on the side lines of one of the two. So and it, he does bring a valid point. If somebody gets treated improperly, and that's what all this comes down to, is treating people respectfully. And like you said, instead of saying to somebody, well, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You don't understand the struggles of whoever. If everybody was treated exactly the same, then we wouldn't have to talk about rights for women, rights for, for people of color, rights for people that are gay, rights for white men who are spoiled rotten anyway, and I, I don't necessarily disagree with that. We do have it fairly fucking easy, all things considered. We really, really do. But the fear is, well, like you're saying, if it goes too far the other direction, now you're in the same situation that this population is in, we've just taken them out of it and we've put this yeah. pop center piece of the population into it, whether it's white men, whether it's white women. What, you know what I mean? I think it was Ben that said it. I might be wrong, but the word justice needs no other modification. <clears throat> well, if it's justice, it's justice. It doesn't need to be social. Yeah. It doesn't need to be anything else. Pick a word, justice. Mm. We need to determine what that means and live to it. Yeah. I was referring to our special episode called Pronouns for those that are just coming to the party late. Yeah, but your opinion's still wrong. Yeah.